Are microplastics the threat? So a microplastic is just literally a small piece of plastic, less than five millimeters, about the size of a, the tip of your eraser and smaller. The risk for microplastics for the pollutants is greater because a turtle is going to eat a water bottle. The ramen in our lab is our workhorse in terms of trying to use it to quantify the microplastics that we have in all of our samples, which allows us to quantify exposure uh, to organisms. They might make it into the Chesapeake Bay where it settles and maybe it's eaten by an oyster. Or maybe it goes really far and ends up in a pretty pristine area of the ocean where there normally wouldn't be these contaminants. It's not that we have evidence of no harm, it's that we have no evidence, period. I'm an ecologist. I came into this field to understand how it impacts fish and other wildlife. The field really isn't even at the point where we can do a risk assessment and assess the danger. The consensus has been, it depends. There's still very little quantifying it in, for human exposure, right? In drinking water, in seafood, in the dust, in house dust. On this one, they're not all quite the same color. Like, there's a clear fiber, there's some blue fragments, some gray fragments, there's a white fragment in there. And then it looks like at the end, there might be a black fiber as well. So as we start to get better at techniques, we start to look smaller and smaller and see that this tiny little material seems to be everywhere. And all of these different processes to make these particles create different shapes, different sizes, which means that they have different surface areas. What we are doing is more trying to understand how it gets into the environment, where it goes when it gets there, and how it impacts ecosystems from an animal viewpoint. And those are questions that all are worthy of investigation. <laughs>